Today I felt like doing some cleaning and I wanted to give my oven a good scrubbing. It's not too dirty, it just has some grease spots on the sides. This is a double wall oven. I think it was installed in 1995. The element in the bottom oven is broken and the manufacturer no longer makes a replacement for it. I'm always thinking the top element could go any day now. It's also very small on the inside. Only my smallest baking sheets fit in it. Now that it's as clean as I can get it, I'm going to bake some sweet potatoes. To make a good sweet potato, set the oven to 425 degrees and give the potato a few stabs with a fork. Put them directly on the oven rack and let them bake for one hour. Once the hour is up, turn off the oven and leave them in the oven for another hour. Can you believe this is all the tea I have left? It's time to restock. I usually go for unflavored black tea. There's a lot to pick from in that category. I also especially love breakfast teas. These sweet potatoes are done. Since they take so long, I always make several at a time. That way I can just reheat one when I want one for supper. Since I've given the oven a lot of attention today, I'm going to take a photo I thought of a few days ago. First, I need a dark room so I don't have any unwanted reflections in the oven door. I've got my flash set up with a barn door attachment to direct the light. I'm going to put my face near the oven door. It looks like the oven light is lighting me, but it's really not bright enough. The flash is what's creating all the light. I was trying to set up a photo and I really wasn't into it. And then I saw Winter sitting here watching me and I really wanted to photograph her. She let me take one picture before she left. The rest of the day I worked on organizing my large horse photography catalog. There was an especially pretty sky happening outside, so I thought I'd try an intervalometer sequence. made it to the end of another day and it is finally time for tea in my recliner.
I'm switching out oats for some chocolate protein pancakes for breakfast today. turning out to be a pretty sleepy day, not much going on. Supper was very good. I really didn't know what my photo would be, and then all of this blue is snow. This could be the last snow of the winter season, so I had to do a photo I've wanted to do since I started this project. I really didn't know what settings to use, I just wanted the snow to be lit up by the flash and have my silhouette outlined. I'll be using my remote and it lets me take a burst of three photos. The only difficulty I had was I kept standing too far forward and I wouldn't cover the flash when I jumped, so I needed to stand further back than what seemed right. I had my camera and flash covered with clear bags to keep them dry. I really loved how the photo turned out. It was exactly the way I wanted. Today I'm taking a trip to visit my mom. There's a little arboretum in town and the grounds were covered with crocus blooms. It was very cold so most of them were closed, but I did find a few in some warm sunny spots that were open. When I got back home, winter was waiting for me, and so was a package. It's all the tea I ordered. I haven't tried any of these before. They are all from a company called The Tea Table. I got Grand Earl Grey. Windsor Castle sounded like a good breakfast tea. Scottish Breakfast. Buckingham Palace Garden Party. It sounded delicious, but I'd buy it for the name alone. Yunnan Imperial. This is a single black tea, not a blended variety, so I was curious about the taste. I also picked up some samples while I was shopping.
I go through this emotion every year where I'm feeling like I'm really falling behind. I know someone can make themselves seem as successful as they want to online, but I'm seeing so many photographers around me rebuilding and relaunching their websites, already getting plenty of wedding bookings, and having a seemingly endless amount of content to post from last season. It's March 1st and I haven't lifted a finger towards any of that. I don't even know what to say on my website. I struggled writing what little copy is on there now. I thought I'd reread this business book I have to see if I could get some ideas. I'm going to go ahead and make this my photo for the day. It's the next day and I'm sitting down with the book again, trying to get a few more pages done. I have a large selection of catnip filled toys for my cats, as any cat owner does. And their favorite things are milk carton caps, tissue paper, and of course, boxes. The last banana muffin recipe I made I wasn't too thrilled with, and I came across another one I wanted to try. These days, pretty much any time I make a baked good, I like to photograph it. I blame it on Instagram. Before then, I didn't have much interest in baking or photographing any of it. You can see on the right side of the screen I have a flash pointed at the wall. It's going to create some fill light. My main flash is off camera to the left, but it is set up the same way, bouncing light off the wall.
time to refill my bird feeder. There isn't much seed available to the birds this time of year, so in the mornings they are all over this feeder. Behind my yard is a golf course, and from time to time I go around and pick up the golf balls. Looks like I got a pretty good haul this week. I've got a small patch of crocus growing in my garden, and they looked lovely in the sun, so I got a photo of them. I got this box of shortbread in December and I'm almost done with them. Shortbread is terrific with tea. It's been a lovely week and Winter and I are going to enjoy a nice, very early spring evening. Thanks for watching and subscribe so you won't miss a video.